welcome. We have been expecting you. Welcome to the new Turban Paranormal. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's the 1st of March. Guys, I just thought I'll surprise you with a video. Kids, guys. Kids, we all love you. Especially if you're a parent. Then it's more fun. Because then you, got, you know that you've got responsibility to keep your kids entertained. And then watching them is a joy. Seeing them playing. Buying them toys to keep them entertained. Making sure that they have the latest toys. Because if you don't, they're going to nag you until you get it. So you get all the stuff and then now some of us want to do videos with our kids for TikTok and things like that. But then you know, <laughs> as always, there's a dark side to everything like in this next video guys this tiktoker was doing a video with his daughter and then something really creepy happens let's see what that is stay tuned trust me not gonna want to miss this one hola amigos quería comentarles algo lo que pasa es que hace unos días atrás han pasado cosas extrañas en la casa y el tema es que a mi hija le regalaron unos juguetes a mi, a mi guaguita tiene dos años le regalaron unos juguetes y ella tiene pesadillas con un peluche que es este peluche y la verdad es que al mirarlo da harto miedo el peluche yo lo encuentro extraño siempre Now, if you didn't see it, don't worry, I slowed it down for us so that we can see. Exactly, tell me guys, how did this doll actually move on its own? Watch its eyes carefully. There, can you see it? <laughs> Now, I threw in an extra video just for fun, guys. So, guys. If you've been watching my videos, you will know about this haunting and this creepy, creepy haunting. If you haven't seen it, guys, watch my previous video or error the one before that. And you will see there's a long history of what's been happening. Guys, he's got a new video and more creepy things has happened. Let's see what happens next. You know he brings us creepy stuff. Check it out. Pay me. Pay me. Okay, so let's see that in slow motion, guys. Where exactly did Amy go? And I wonder if you guys actually saw the movement that was behind Amy, or did you actually concentrate on Amy? But here it is. Watch carefully. You'll see it going by. It looks like something running by. Watch carefully. There. Did you see it? At the end of the day, guys, you get to decide whether it's real or fake. <laughs> Next up guys, we got Franco TV. Frank would along with two other friends are at Waverly Hill Sanatorium. And guys, what they catch there is some super creepy stuff. Actually some bone chilling, I would say. Guys, trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. 
check it out these are some of the ghosts that were caught on camera f- that were caught on camera not by them but from others before them let's see what happens here. next i was hearing a sound coming from right here but it could be reflecting from outside and i'm not too quite sure Look like something sticking its head out for a brief second. Holy shit. That's the wind. There it goes. What is that? Do you see it peeking its head out of the door, guys? Now it's gone. Now Frank's friend Pete is in the morgue and something very creepy happens to him while Franco is in the floor above him. Let's see what happens next. I am pretty sure something just touched me. I don't know if it's in my head, but I felt like some sort of like pressure on like my back side my like my lower back side and I want to get the f- out of this morgue Frank you there Frank Go ahead. hey um, can you come down here for a second I think something just like physically attacked me I don't know if I'm in my head but I'm gonna cry and I'm like shaking Okay. Holy shit. Oh, hell no. What happened? Uh, so tell me, guys. There, who scratched it? Was it a ghost? It was, like was it a like demon? And like Leave it in the comments below. At the end of the day, guys, you get to decide whether it's real or fake. Come on guys, smash that like button. Now, whenever we see Randonauta or Randonautica, we always think of, I'm going on an adventure. Like this TikToker, she thought that she's going on an adventure guys. She wanted to test the app out. So she grabs a bunch of friends and they go out to test the app and then something super creepy that will make them never try it again let's see what happens next so my friends and i are about to go randonauting and i see a lot of people saying that they find creepy shit on here so i figured i'd record it to see what actually happens Uh, (laughs) we're going down this bridge so we're walking on a bridge right now we've been here before but i don't know why it brought us here so we haven't found anything creepy or anything, but there's some Yo, nice views. Guys, come here. Really what the blood. fuck is that? It seems pretty fresh. Is that what the? Is it blood? That's fucking. Oh, no, that could be. No, that could be pain. Hold up, is that a trail? Wait, wait, look. So there's like a blood trail. So we're following it right now. So the blood leads over here. And it keeps going down that. Right, so Matthew's gonna go down. Like there's more. Blood. Okay, I'm running out of time. Like in comment for part two. 
So Matthew's about to climb down there and I'm too scared to go down there so I'm gonna hand him my phone, so. Oh, fucking smells so bad down here. Hey, be safe. Yeah, yeah. Cause there's still blood. Yeah, there's a thick trail. Like, look at this shit. Holy shit. That's kind of sus. Fuck. All right, I'm going, guys. Oh, what the fuck? Hell no. Hello? What? Nah, fuck no. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, 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 yo. At the end of the day, guys, you get to decide whether it's real or fake. It's been an honor. And every one of you, I hope you guys have a good day. Please, guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. End of the day, you guys to decide whether it's real or fake. There's my email over there. If you guys want to send an email, drop me an email if you think there's a video that should be on Dub and Paranormal, keeping you entertained for life. Was it good for you, too? Ooh, talk about head over heels. <laughs>